video, we will see how we can create a simple hopper using the canonic hopper command in the rolled walls. What you can see here is the hopper that I've created using the canonic hopper command and let's see how we can create that. To do that, let's firstly open up a part design workbench and then select the sketch and before that let's firstly set the sheet metal parameters whatever is there in the default will do for this tutorial click on ok and select the sketch command and select the xy plane once you're on the xy plane select the centered rectangle and start sketching the rectangle and dimension the rectangle by 100 by 100 and then what you can do is select by using the control key select all the four vertices of this rectangle and go for the chamfer command and in the chamfer radius give 20 mm as the chamfer radius click on yes and yes so that creates a rectangle with four chamfers on four corners click on the exit sketch and create another plane for creating another plane let's switch back to the wireframe and surface design and select the XY plane and click on the create plane and go for a 100 mm offset plane and then let's again switch back to the generative sheet metal design workbench and then select the newly created plane and the geometric set under the geometric set and click on the sketch this time select the sketch you have previously created at the specification tree and then go for the offset command and specify the offset of the sketch tools as uh, 20 mm now exit the sketch now we have two sketch which is offset at 20 m uh, at 100 mm now what you can do next is go for the insert rolled walls hopper and the hopper hopper select the canonic hopper and select this as the first profile and this as the second profile select this as our first point and this as the second point and as you have selected wireframes from the canonic hopper command will be appearing if you click on the preview you'll be able to see the fully fledged sheet metal appearing uh, on the profile that we have defined and if you apply on the invert material side you can invert the material side and if you click on ok you can see the completed uh, model for the canonic hopper now if you click on the unfolded view you'll be able to see how the canonic hopper that we have just created right now how would it look like once you open it so that's about the canonic hopper command i hope you enjoyed keep watching